So I've been going through pictures trying to find the perfect one for my channel. Can Soviet gymnastics be confined to one singular picture? I, I don't know. <laughs> Privyat bitches! So this one has been a really long time coming. I'm not sure why it's taken me so long, especially considering she is literally one of my top five favorites of all time. I think a part of me was afraid that I would end up not doing her justice. I want to put her in as good of a light as possible, and I'ma try my best. The subject of today's video is the legendary Hall of Fame inductee, two-time Olympic gold medalist, Soviet royalty, it says so on the thumbnail, <laughs> and pride of Ukraine, Tatiana Lysenka. Hold for applause. Tatiana has world and or Olympic medals on three of the four events, and on that fourth event, bars, she made finals at major meets multiple times. The only reason she didn't ever medal is because strange things would happen, like she jammed or dislocated her fingers. Like, she had the worst luck when it came to bars finals. I mean, you could say she just had the worst luck in general, but how much of it was luck, how much of it was not being the best competitor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. As I did with Lee Sinka's teammate, Tatiana Gutsu, I'll be using the diminutive of Tatiana, Tanya, because that is what we do with the ones that we love. Tanya was born in Kherson to a Ukrainian Jewish family. She quickly rose through the junior ranks in the Soviet system and was one of their top prospects leading up to their final Olympics. Tanya announced herself as a legit star at the 1990 World Cup in Brussels. She had a superb all-around meet and ended up upsetting the reigning world and two-time European all-around champion Svetlana Boganskaya. For the purposes of this video, we are going to skip ahead to 92 Worlds which took place in Paris in April of that year. I have lots and lots to say about a certain meet we're skipping over where Tanya played a huge part. We're talking instances of judges colluding, cheating, you name it. But I'm gonna be getting into all of that in a future video. So again, another reason to subscribe to my channel. But back to 92 Worlds. This was the first time the FIG decided to hold a World Championships the same year as an Olympics, and I'm not really sure why, except maybe they thought there was more money to be made. But I figure the more meets the merrier, right? The format of 92 Worlds was intense. No team or all-around competition was held, only individual events. There were three rounds of competition for each apparatus, where the number of gymnasts would be whittled down. The prelims, which were open to everybody, the top 16 gymnasts competing in the semifinals, and then the top eight gymnasts would go on to compete in the finals, where the medals would be decided. Tanya wound up surviving the arduous qualification process, making bars, beam, and floor finals. In bars finals, she had one of those mistakes I mentioned before. She missed her hands transitioning from the high to low bar and ended up finishing in last place. When we get to beam finals, after competing one of the most beautiful routines I had ever seen in the semifinal round, I'm talking one of the classic all-time great performances possibly even better than the routine that she wound up winning the Olympic gold medal with. I'm definitely going to be talking about that routine in a future video. But after she did that amazing routine, in the finals, she fell on the very first skill, her mount, and was instantly out of contention. So her last chance at her first individual world medal would come on floor. We we're actually going to take a look at Lysinka's semi-final floor routine, which is the one that got her into the final. SPOILER ALERT! In the final, she ended up doing a pretty good routine, 
and wound up tying for the bronze medal. I didn't have any intention on making a video about Lysenka anytime soon, but then Boban 1611 uploaded this routine and I knew I had to do something immediately. I can't believe I had forgotten how amazing her Malagena routine was. I'm almost embarrassed about it, honestly. Starting out with this Leo, which is just spectacular from the very first pose. Wow. Mounting, her signature hurdle, double layout. A little bit of issues with the body position, of course the landing, over rotated and a step back. This, every, every single skill, every move of her body is so ornately and wonderfully choreographed. Every flick of the wrist, every finger move that it's all intertwined beautifully no movement is wasted i love it all it's so good <laughs> double back punch front into a double full punch front another step of over rotation the way she hears this music I wonder if she played any musical instruments because she just has that feeling. It's terrific. The hand clap, it's all so wonderful. She still gives herself time to breathe there before her dismount, a full in. Oh, definitely her best landing. <laughs> And the ending is so dramatic. I just love this routine so much. So good. Ugh. Like, I'm literally in awe. <laughs> so, it kind of goes without saying that the upload of this routine has been a revelation. The camera operators did an amazing job of getting down on the floor and capturing Tanya's divine expression, interpretation the miraculousness of this choreography. I mean, the perfection stunning, a treat. This routine is proof that there just might be a god. I've shared it on multiple platforms, rave reviews across the board. Everybody loves this routine. As long as I can remember, since the implementation of the internet and being able to talk about gymnastics online, I don't recall ever seeing a gymnast as universally adored as Tatiana Lysenka. With practically every gymnast, you usually hear one or two people at least who don't care for that gymnast or they're not a fan of them for whatever reason. But with Tanya, I've never heard any complaints at all. Everybody seems to like her. And that's possibly one of the best things that could be said about any gymnast. She really was a triple threat. She had good form, amazing difficulty, and spectacular artistry. And when you actually stand out, in a sea of teammates with similar qualities, that might be the best compliment that could be awarded to you. It's quite the achievement. Add in that she seems to be humble, kind, successful, and lovely to this day, she honestly should consider running for office. I mean, wow. She definitely would have my vote, for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. This has been a really, really fun one. Please smash that like button if you like the video. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, comment, engage, and I will see everybody in my next one. Bon journey, au revoir, take care, bye love.